Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video we are going to review a new port. Yes, it's the MIUI 13 port which has been ported to our device by our friend Camalia and she did a great job in porting the MIUI 13 for wins so that we could all experience how MIUI 13 is. Well, let's go and take a look at the device information first. As you can see that the port is being taken from MI Note 10. So basically in device information, you just have details about the MI Note 10. So it's not some related to wins. <laughs> and going further to the old specification, as you can see that the ROM which is used in MIUI 13 is Android 11. And the kernel version that I'm using with this particular ROM is Starlight Plus, the latest one from Starlight. Since the default kernel which came with the ROM was Unitrix and um, that particular kernel was causing the device to overheat and it was a bit lagging. So I had to change the kernel. Well, first impressions about MIUI 13 is it's just same like MIUI 12.5. They just add one or two uh, new features to it. Well, we cannot say that one or two new features to it. Uh, first one is they have added some AI stuff which is not yet available in this particular port and with this particular ROM. You can check out a video which I did for MIUI 13. There was a Chinese version of the ROM which was available for POCO M3 Citrus and I have booted the same onto my POCO M3 and I did a review on it. If you are interested, you can watch the video. I will post the link in the description below. And I just want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates from me. First of all, let's launch the settings page and see what all new settings do we have. Well, as I've already told you, there isn't any much change in the user interface. I wish if MIUI could call it as MIUI 12.5 they have or 12.6 or something like that because there isn't any much change with the MIUI 13 and even with the other video I could see that there is only some um, some what is it called yeah AI features being added on to the ROM so nothing than that and you get some nice wallpapers from here let's have a look let's go to the library yeah you get some nice new wallpapers from the library as you can see some uh, some are some we are familiar with the 12.5 and 12 already but yeah there are some new additions such as this uh, well i believe this is a super wallpaper so maybe if you set it you will make your device further laggy um, apart from that, go to the sound and vibration and you get some new options underneath do not disturb. Again, this was available in 12.5. I don't feel or I don't see any, um, any, anything new in it. And going to the home screen, just get the default setup. Coming back again, going to addition settings. Well, this is where you get some new, new or couple of new options. Going to language and input, uh, let me show you what are languages we have, whatever EU is having. Since the ROM base is being taken from EU version, so basically whatever languages EU support do support the port. And region also, you get a lot of regions, so nothing new in it. And going further, you get memory extension, which is even which is even available with the 12.5 uh, enhanced and stuff like that. So this is what you get. And further down, developer options, you have um, one or two options which are available over here. The first one is system-wide variable font. Again, system-wide variable font, we did have this sort of uh, thing with uh, some custom ROMs. I believe it was Descendant and Spark, if my memory is correct. I'm not sure about it. And going further down, there is a floating clock option available. Um, let's see. Let's try to see where it is. USA, USB debugging? No not over here but uh, yeah floating clock as you can see that there is a floating clock available again this is not a useful feature but it is something new which i have found out 
uh, and going further down in this spot i just kept the animation scale off because the animation was a bit laggy so i kept it off let's solve the problem that way and um, the new feature is ignore accidental touch on the edges well <laughs> it sounds or they name it as a new feature i'm not uh, telling that they have named it as a new feature but again come on you need to work out something this is already available with the all custom roms you go to the gestures and you can uh, adjust the swipe area from left to right this is something that they do as you can see over here once you adjust the size you can see um, see that so they just named it as something new ignore accidental touch on the edges i don't know this is something that happens when you try to find a new feature let's give it a new name for what i don't know <laughs> and go to password and security you can see that you get face unlock fingerprint unlock blah 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 yeah great so as i've already told you i'm I don't see anything new with the miui 13 update apart from that they have included many artificial intelligence features which i don't know how many devices are going to support there isn't any major uh, changes with the user interface and all well android 12 is here so i don't know i have not seen any screenshots of android 12 miui 13 so maybe they will have um, new features or new user interface with the android 12 let us hope so um, well that is about the port and let's talk about the port is it good for daily use yeah i find it stable because you can pass the play store certification by just enabling magisk hide go and check safety net you can see that it is default passed yeah so that's a good thing you don't need to install any extra modules um the rom is good animation was lagging so if you if animation is lagging for you make sure that you turn off the animation um so the rom will be a bit more smoother again i would like to thank the person who has ported miua 13 for our device they did a great job she did a great job in porting the rom for us it is very good to try if you want to try uh, and feel how miua 13 is you can definitely try this port um what about using it as a daily driver i don't know i just flashed it one hour ago so i cannot really tell you about can it be used as daily usage i believe it can be because i have not yet found any serious bugs so um that is about the port it's really great to use guys please do use it and please do support the developer of the port and yeah that is something i mean that will be great to do once again, I would like to thank you for watching the video. Please make sure that you stay subscribed to the channel. Thank you.